lot of people get caught up about tools and it's understandable. All, every woodworker likes a beautiful tool. I like a beautiful tool. Um, and, but I will say this. So my, in my experience in woodworking, I grew up with very little means and I had to find ways to find tools. And so obviously vintage was the first choice. You can see an array of vintage versus modern tools. Here's an old uh, tri-square that's probably an old marples um, that I probably bought when I was 10 years old. Um, here's a marking gauge that I made um, in 2006. So however old I was then, I'm 32 now, so you do the math. Um, here's hand planes here that were made in the 1920s. Um, here's a hand plane that was made two years ago by Lee Nielsen. Um, so what's the difference? You know, is there one better than the other? And all of those types of arguments. And the, the best answer that I can tell you is look for a quality made tool that works well for the work that you do. It does not matter whether it's brand new. It does not matter whether it's custom made. It does not matter whether it's something you found in the bottom of the toolbox in a flea market. And so another thing to remember too is with vintage tools, like let's say this number four, um, this was somebody's prized possession, right? In the same way that this little Lee Nielsen number two is my pride, one of my prized possessions. When, the, when I move on and this plane lives on much longer than I will, um, somebody else will find this and that does not negate the value of this tool at all. Um, but then there's also other meaning in tools that you might find. You may um, find a tool maker that you really appreciate their values and their work. Um, like Jared Green is a fabulous saw maker and I use his dovetail saw almost every day. And it's a fabulous piece of work that he made. He's another maker just like me. And I appreciate the values and the work that he puts into his work. Um, but at the same time, somebody at Henry Diston and Sons put their work into this old crosscut saw. And so I'm also appreciating their work, maybe a hundred years since this saw was made. And so those are just some things to think about. Um, there's no right or wrong answer. There's no, everything does not have to be pearl, mother of pearl and ivory and engraved. Um, it just needs to do the work well. Uh, and that could maybe a vintage tool. It may be a new tool. Um, but the real question to ask is how will this tool assist the work that I'm working?